Good evening. Uh, Your Excellencies, Ministers, Honourable Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests. On behalf of the Academic Club, I would like to welcome you here to the House of Commons. As a London branch of one of the biggest think tanks in Poland, we had the pleasure to organize this event. I would like to special thanks to Daniel Kapczynski MP for hosting us here. Mr. Kapczynski is the chairman of all party parliamentary group in Poland and has been advising the Prime Minister David Cameron on polls in the UK. We are very grateful for your support. May I also introduce our special guest, Matthew Thurman, who came here today especially from New York. Matthew Thurman is a, is a son of the legendary novelist Leopold Thurman. Mr. Thurman is a Wall, investor, Wall Street investor, a journalist and a great friend of Poland, very outspoken and an expert on Polish issues. There are certain transitions happening in Poland. Mr. Thurman has a lot of knowledge of this topic and we are happy that he will share it with us today. May I ask our host for a few words of introduction? Then we will have Mr. Thurman giving a lecture for about an hour, which will be followed by questions and answers. Thank you. Well, I don't think I need the microphone. Can you hear me at the back? Yeah. Right. Um, as the chairman of the All-Party Group for Poland, it's a great pleasure for me to host um, this discussion this evening. It's been a huge honour and privilege for us to host uh, Mr. Thurman here uh, throughout the course of the day in the House of Commons, and we've taken him to uh, the chamber to see uh, our proceedings of the House of Commons. Uh, he had the, uh, he had the uh, questionable uh, interest of uh, watching the uh, local government uh, finance uh, questions going through uh, this afternoon, which was rather dry, but nevertheless he got the experience of the House of Commons. Um, I'd like to say that um, uh, we have a code here in the House of Commons British parliamentarians, we have a code amongst ourselves, which is a very long-standing tradition and a code, that although we debate very fiercely and intensely within our own country about some of our shortcomings and some of the flaws in our own government, the code of conduct that we have is that we never criticize our country abroad. And when we are abroad, and we go on political delegations which are cross-party, despite our own differences, we always are united in putting the best possible slant of the United Kingdom to our foreign guests. Unfortunately, this is not always the case with Polish politicians, either former or current. That is a great shame for me, as the first Polish-born British Member of Parliament, because I believe in the Polish democratic system and I believe in the will of the Polish people and for these decisions to be ultimately decided and adjudicated on within Poland. And it also deeply troubles me some of the language emanating from the European Union recently and particularly from Martin Schulz and others who have made what are, in my view, wholly unwelcome and un unacceptable public announcements about Poland and about her motives. So this is why it's particularly important that we have somebody of Mr. Turman's status and stature to give us his uh, experience and interpretation of what is actually happening on the ground in Poland. Let me also say that when we come on to the questions and answer session, I am very keen to answer any questions that you may have on Brexit, I am one of the Conservative Members of Parliament that is passionately advocating Brexit. And if there are any questions that you might have on that issue and on how Brexit would impact on Anglo-Polish relations, I'd be ha very happy to answer those. This is part of our series of events in the House of Commons to engage with the Polish diaspora and to debate matters pertinent to Poland and Anglo-Polish relations. I believe that Poland must engage with NATO and have a very strong NATO presence and I support a permanent NATO base east of Warsaw. 
But I also believe that we must start to engage with Russia. And I sit on the Foreign Affairs Select Committee and we are currently underdoing, undertaking a report on Anglo-Russian relations. As part of this report, we visited Moscow last week for extensive discussions. And not surprisingly, I was asking a number of questions about Poland to our Russian interlocutors. And I said to them, they need to come up with one small gesture. It always starts with one small gesture. When you are in a very difficult situation, an increasingly volatile, destabilized and dangerous situation, and both parties are rather reticent to engage, it always starts with one small gesture. And I specifically ask Russian foreign ministers to return the wreckage of the crashed presidential plane uh, immediately to Poland to show an act of goodwill uh, to the Poles on this very important issue. And secondly, at my uh, request, the Foreign Affairs Select Committee will now be visiting Warsaw in July because we will be visiting as part of our report two neighboring countries that neighbor Russia. One is Poland, at my request, and the other one is Latvia. So we will be visiting Warsaw and Riga to engage with politicians from both of those countries to get their <coughs> interpretations. Because our understanding is that Polish politicians have a very different perspective to Russia and how to deal with Russia as are my own perspectives. But that's important in a democracy. We need to debate these issues. And it worries me that the, there is no proper debate in Poland about how to manage Russia going forward. There is no magic wand that can make them disappear. They are going to be there and the likelihood is President Putin will continue to be there for the foreseeable future. One option, of course, is a ratcheting up of tensions and an arms race on the Polish-Russian border. The other one, the other option, is strong NATO presence, but dialogue and engagement with Russia. So those are the, my own personal comments I wanted to say to you. I think despite any differences that we may have, we are all united in our love for Poland, whether or not we live in Poland, we all love her and we all want the very best for her for the rest of our lives. So with that, I hand over to my dear friend and I look forward to your speech. Thank you very much. as it 
is under attack from certain special interests. So I appreciate her friendship. I'm happy to engage with her all the time and talk strategically how we both can engage this debate. Um, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>